Hello and welcome back. So today I thought I would show you how I do my headband curls. I had a few requests for this on my Instagram to see how I've done this. I've done this for absolutely years and years and years and years. Do you do this a lot as actually like a hairstyle then the next day you'll have a nice loose wave. So I'm going to talk you through how I've done it and I'm going to take you out and show you the result. So basically I'm using a satin band. You can see this in my hair routine video and this is actually one of the kind of half bonnets but I have done this with several hair bands like really skinny ones. Like I had the fitness Nike ones that are really skinny. I've had bigger ones. Basically the fatter the band the bigger your waves are going to be. So what you do is you pop it on top of your head. Now you can either do it like I've done here and it going down and round, or you could actually have it more up. And then you're just gonna take sections, and there's two ways you can do this. You can twist them first and then wrap them around the band, or you can just go straight away and wrap them. I do a little bit of a mix. I sort of do one or two twists and then take it round and just do it section at a time round the band until you get to the nape of your neck. I've kept my hair in a centre parting for today, but you can do it in absolutely any parting that you wish. When you get to the back, it can be quite difficult, especially if you've got mid-length hair. Um, you have to kind of make a space at the back and keep winding round as much as you can, and then sort of tucking your hair in. You could potentially just wrap twist this all together and make like a bun so you've got like a really loose wave if you've got really long hair, that is an option you could do, but mine tends to get in. Then what I do is just for some extra security, I take some really long pins and just slide them along the curl and sort of underneath the band really loosely. It just keeps my hair tucked in nicely. So I find these really comfortable to sleep in, especially in this headband because it's a little bit looser. It's not really tight. When I've done tighter bands, I just don't like things around my head, to be honest. It's why I don't, why I don't wear headbands a lot. But if it doesn't bother you, then it'll be absolutely fine. So this one's a silk one. <laughs> So it's extra protective for your hair as well. I washed my hair yesterday, um, so it was fairly clean. And then I just popped some conditioner in my hair at the beginning, as you can see. You don't have to do that. That is just something I like doing. I love putting a light conditioner in my hair every night, and it just adds a little bit of moisture. So I'm just going to take these clips out now. This is great, though. I mean, you don't have to do this at night. You could literally, if you're going out in the evening, you know, post lockdown or even for like Valentine's at home or something, you could just literally put these in the morning and stay in them all day. I've done these in the morning, I've done them most of the time I do them overnight and I find them quite comfortable. Right, so I'm gonna start at the back and I'm just gonna pull on the curls to release it. So sliding my finger under, just be really careful because sometimes your hair can get quite knotted, it depends on how neat you were. As I said, you can use really tight bands to get really tight curls. The one thing I'd say is make sure that you kind of keep the band lifted a bit because sometimes it can pull your roots down and give you really flat roots. Okay, so you can see the sort of results I'm getting. I'm going to take this off now. So it looks a bit strange. You could leave it like this if you wanted to. Um, but we're going to have a good old move around. You can sort of see where my band's been. So I'm first of all, I'm going to take my fingertips into my roots and just give it a little bit of a shake. Just part in anything. And then it's gonna glide my hands down. You might wanna put like a light oil in your hands at this point if you, you tend to get a lot of frizz from touching your hair. But that condition has kind of added some nice moisture to my hair. And this is it, I absolutely love it. It looks like you've had a blow dry or had your hair done. But I love that whole like swept away. You could then get a brush and brush it through and have that really like blown out look, but yeah, I uh, it's my favourite thing to do when because I don't like heat style in my hair. I literally got rid of my straighteners, I've got rid of my curling tongue, I have a hair dryer, and that's it. I don't do any heat to my hair anymore. Give it a go, especially in lockdown, because you know there's nowhere to go, so it's a perfect time to have a little play. And as I said, let me have a little show. I've used these sort of bands, this one's a bit thicker, this is a little bit tight for me to sleep in. This one's a bit more ideal because it is meant for sleeping and it's really big. So I just kind of scrunch this bit up and put the back, the hair around there. And it, as I said, it's protective as well because it is satin. Um, and then I've used really thin ones. I don't think I've got one panned like this thin where I've done loads of really tiny ones. But this has been like the perfect curl size for me. 
Um, right, so that's, it's so quick and easy. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. And um, if you want any more videos like this, pop a comment below and I'll see you next time.